it feels S- subjugating to one subject. No, let's just go head on. So where does it take you? In Earth? Kind of, because I was thinking about chili, and not the soup or the shit with beans, but the, <laughs> the country chili. Uh, the country. It was like a shit ton of UFO sightings. They're a hotbed of UFOs around that area, especially in the mountain ranges and stuff. And did you know the northern part of Chile is completely uninhabitable? It's like Mars almost when it comes to that little of life being there. <laughs> no, that's because they that said my that, first time hearing that. Because <laughs> it was, they said it was almost as surprising to find out that there is microbial life inside of the desert there as it was uh, in, on Mars or whatever because, you know, there's <laughs> microbes in the... or something. No, they found that in Mars soil. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know life. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know, know what's so funny to you, but... You seem so smart right now. <laughs> you seem like a professor. That's what I wanted to be, actually. I wanted to be a philosophy you should, Yeah, you should be a philosophy. That's what we're doing. This is my only way of doing it. Yes, yeah, so I'll say this cuts out the school and the oh, bullshit. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. It should be fine. I don't think it disconnected. No, no, I think no, we're no, solid. No. But yeah, so I think it's interesting though, because with the hotbed of UFOs, oh, shit. did it just come off? Yeah, it, it just off came off. Like, just now. Because I, nope. I know we had one of those episodes where it's like 12 minutes where you did. Your mic on. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, this desert, they think it's just super weird because with the UFO activity, they think the UFOs could be coming from that area, and I think it could be an entrance to inner Earth, and that's kind of how Mars is too. I think there is life in inner Mars, but not on the outside of it. So like, there's something else I was going to get at with that. I think it has to do with the vortexes too. Yeah, because I think there's a vortex around there, but not only that, there's something else about it being uninhabitable that remind me of other entrances. It seems like they're either in... Oh, maybe it's because it's in a mountain range. It seems like all of the entrances are in a mountain range, for sure. Which is kind of trippy when you think about those entrances to inner Earth, you'd think would be lower, not higher up, or whatever. (laughs) But they are. They're, like, inside the mountains. Anyways, same with, like, I guess I think there's an entrance. I drew on one of my crazy people maps. <clears throat> I drew a better map. No, you can't really see it. My flashlight. How much better? You have a better. torch. I'm not using that. <laughs> but, yeah, see, I just put all the entrances, basically. I think there's one in water places, too, like the L.A. Basin, because of all the UFO sightings there. And then there's a fresh water... Uh, a uh, huge thing of freshwater lake in Russia. The Balkan, or what the fuck is it? It starts with the B. The Balkans? No, the Balkans is an area in your Europe. No, this lake, I forget what it's called, but there's some weird stories about these. I had some Russians go in there once, the scuba dive, and it's all iced over, so like getting down there is hard. But anyways, they went scuba diving, and there was these alien beings like way, way down uh they went really far. <laughs> it just feels weird. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the alien beings had like these organic little bubbles around their heads. And the dudes like were trying to catch the beings with a, a net. And the beings like did this force move and pushed them basically out of the water. And they got like some kind of oxygen poisoning. And a few of them died. Like there's actually proof that these people died going down in this water area but I think that's one of the entrances I think those beings are from inner earth and that's like if you go down deep enough you'll find an entrance to inner earth basically and there's layers of other species in inner earth so I think there's something to that yeah definitely for sure that and consciousness is weird like who are we to say that we're the only like conscious beings like dolphins are almost conscious and they're in the water what if there's something way 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 below like on the depths that have not been touched for thousands of years, so they kind of just develop their own consciousness eventually. Have you heard about how, like, people don't have to take as much drugs or psychedelics if they're on a vortex? No, but I could see that being a thing. I saw a video about that at work today. This guy did it at a desert that was supposedly on this vortex, and so it was like, they were telling him to cut your dose in half 
<laughs> Interesting. Just like altitude, like they say, you know, smoking hits you harder if you're yeah. higher up in mountains. And he saw a gnome that was like bothered by him, like That's... a gnome that had seen an interdimensional gnome that was tired of being looked at. That's so funny because I mentioned that on the Mount Shasta. Uh, podcast that like I have some buddies I knew back in the day that tripped on Mount Shasta and that's a vortex and they saw like dwarves speaking around trees at them and stuff and yeah trippy. so I wonder <laughs> that must be like just a like fairies and gnomes and all that must be just like a layer below ours like they're not like super super unknown but they're just one trip away from yeah. us that's why we used to see elves and all that stuff, because our third eye was more open. It, was open it wasn't and calcified shit. and shit. It used to be larger, too, way like, long ago. Vikings and stuff. like, Actually, pre-Vikings, they used to see elves and dwarves and all this shit. The um, world was magical. Why, yeah, I say, they all say all these religions and all these countries, like, all their history from way back then is just myths because it sounds so fantastical but is it myth why would they just be telling stories like i guess maybe for boredom or whatever <laughs> but at the same time they're trying to explain their past though too so why would they just sprinkle that with myth i don't know i don't know but i like what you're saying though it yeah. makes sense i'm sorry if oh I no you're good i'm getting hit hard enough or i'm gonna be quiet for a second i do that it's so pretty. I should have brought some weed out here. Because now dabbing, I can't even see. I'm dash. starting to see like geometric fractals in the trees. That's a manly still feeling it body wise. I mean, the side of this house looks extremely smooth, but. It's like I'm seeing the warping of a dimension. And the moon is dope. Look how bright the moon is. That's the moon? Yeah. It'll come up it a little bit like further a street here light. in a bit. Yeah, I know what <laughs> I mean. That's how bright it is lately. Looks dope. Fake. <laughs> so actually, I'm going to take a flashlight and find, because I want to find my weed bowl. I got to smoke some weed, because this shit's hitting me pretty hard right now. Do you want to smoke a joint? Oh, if you got a joint, bro, that works. Spark that shit up. Oh, I shouldn't disrespect my... So, that way. so I got another joint in here. But let's look at the crazy person map for a bit. I also put the triangle. See how the vortexes match up though? Sometimes, I mean, the dra dragon's triangle, Bermuda triangle, uh, they all usually match up. They're all in a line. Uh, same with like, there's one, I guess I haven't drawn them yet, but San Luis Valley supposedly has two vortexes. Uh, one south and one north of it, and that's why a lot of weird shit happens in the San Luis Valley. Uh, Iceland has a vortex. Uh, trying to think of some other common places. I think maybe Egypt, because I think Egypt is <coughs> an area that goes along the Bermuda Triangle, the Dragon Triangle kind of latitude. So I think there would be one kind of near Egypt as well. That goes along with the the snake, right? Uh, snake, yeah, the head of consciousness and shit. I do think the head of consciousness is either in Iraq or Israel. One of the two. I'm gonna have to <coughs> cut this one open. Yeah, I got scissors. I never bring them out here. Maybe they're in the garage. I left them um, in the garage. No, we're good. Let's actually pause for a second because it's not getting dark. I want to fucking find my shit. Whatever you want to do, man, just hit play. I did. <laughs> I telepathically knew you're going to say that. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. You did, though. <laughs> kind of. But, uh, Nikolai is loading up some fucking incredible. And what did you say it was? Indica hybrid or sativa? Indica. Indica, okay. Mm. Yeah, it does like smell nice good. Mugs. Yeah. It smells delicious. Nice. At first, when you said that earlier, I thought you were talking about something about incredible bars. No. I don't even know what grow this came from. This just appeared at our store. <laughs> Fucking Man, incredible. Stuff, yeah. There's some good ones with some crazy names. I remember Titty Sprinkles. I like that one a lot over at Starbucks. <laughs> and you just got that Jew one I want to try. What was it called? 
Jewish apple cake. Jewish apple. Yeah. Oh yeah. Straight from Auschwitz. I love cake. Yeah. <laughs> cake is always heavy. All right. I'm sorry if there's any Jewish listeners. 